in the magazine, there are many things. One of the things that we do, we hand out the um, uh, we hand out the all Texas college team. Mm-hmm. The all Texas college team is think of it like all conference teams, right? right? But think of all of the football teams, the college football teams in Texas, as being eligible for this all conference team, right? right. All Texas college team. So we want to honor the best players at each position mm-hmm. in the uh, in the state. In the preseason, and so this is tough sometimes. It is, especially especially at certain positions. I will say that there are some positions that are easier than others. Yep. Uh, we do first team and second team. You'll have to see in, in the magazine who's on the second team. But we will announce the first team today. Um, but there are there are some positions that are easier than others because there are some no brainers. Uh, there are other positions that were very very difficult. Mm-hmm. Uh, as as a result, we we thought long and hard, and and we debate debated a number of these guys, and so. It is my honor to announce the 2017 Dave Campbell's Texas Football All-Texas College Team, an historic one. Why is it historic? Let me tell you. Starting off with a bang. Starts at the top. The All-Texas College quarterback, Jeremiah Briscoe from Sam Houston State. If you don't know who this guy is, Jeremiah Briscoe is the best FCS player in America. And don't take my word for it. Mm -hmm. Doubt me, please. Because he won the Walter Payton Award last year, which is for the, which is basically the FCS Heisman. Yes. He's the reigning FCS Heisman guy, uh, winner. He's back, y'all. And he's back. Jeremiah Briscoe is, in my mind, the best college football quarterback in Texas right now. If you had to pick one guy, it has to be him. Jeremiah Briscoe, our all Texas college quarterback. Running backs, we got two of them. This was a little tough. A little tough. Travion Williams, or I'm sorry, Terrence Williams. Yeah, first. But you from you Baylor. I spoiled it. Yeah. Terrence Williams from Baylor and Travion Williams from Texas A&M. Mm-hmm. They get the nods for the all Texas running backs, underclassmen, junior and sophomore respectively. So they get the nods. Wide receivers. We did three wide receivers plus a utility. The wide receivers. Texas A&M's Christian Kirk. No I don't think there's... No if brainer. you want to argue with me about Christian Kirk being one of the three best wide receivers in state, we You're can do that. Yeah. Cortland Sutton from SMU. No Again, brainer. I don't think there's really any debate there. There is no argument there. The third one, I think you could have made a couple of arguments. We went with Linnell Bonner from Houston. He was sensational last mm-hmm. year. He, he looks like he's going to be the number one target for uh, Kyle Allen at Houston this year. Linnell Bonner... Linnell Bonner a first-team All-Texas College player. The utility? Utility's tough because you can give it to it a lot. You can give it to a running back. You can give it to a wide receiver. If you want to, in the past, we've given it to, like, if there's quarterbacks that are, like, 1 and 1A one and we right. have a hard time doing it. Right. This year, I think this is a true utility. Cavante Turpin yep. from TCU. He can really do it all. Yep. He can run the ball. He can catch the ball. He can He's a threat in the return game. He's our utility player. Tight end. This was tough because there's just not really any tight ends in the state. Like yeah. any pro- the best tight ends all graduated. Right. We went with Andrew Beck from Texas. He's a projection pick. I freely admit that, but I think that Andrew Beck's probably the best tight end in the in the, in the state right now. We'll find out at the end of the year. Offensive line. Five offensive linemen. This was tough. Again, a couple of guys who are like, yep, absolutely no Obviously, question about right. it. Right. Yep. Connor Williams of Texas. Right. I don't think there's really any debate about that. I think he's one of the best offensive linemen in the nation. Austin Schlotman from TCU. Another guy, I think. Slam dunk. Will Noble from Houston. A key cog of this Houston team. Will Noble is going to have a big, big, big impact on how Houston plays this year. Will Noble, a first-team All-Texas college player. So is Will Hernandez from UTEP. If you talk to folks out there in El Paso, they think he's a first-round draft pick. That he's been awesome for them, and he is probably, I would say he's probably their best player, depending on what you think of Alvin Jones. And finally, Coda Martin from Texas A&M. A little bit of projection pick. I thought he acquitted himself very well last year as a sophomore, and he's in for a big junior year. Our all-Texas college football kicker? Clayton Hatfield from Texas Tech. I don't think there's really any debate about that. He was awesome for Tech. He is our first team all-Texas college kicker. Let's move to the defense, Max. Again, we'll start with the defensive line. And again, a guy that I will fight you with. If you want to fight on the internet, let's fight on the internet. This would be a dumb fight. A first-team All-Texas College football uh, player, Ed Oliver from yeah. from uh, Houston. Yeah. Yeah. He might be the best uh, player in America. Yeah. He's got to be on here. Yeah. Also, Justin Lawler from SMU. Big year last year. 
I think could be in for a huge year this year. Yeah. Also in there, defensive line, K.J. Smith from Baylor, a guy who's got to be a big playmaker for Baylor if they are going to succeed this year. Those are our three defensive linemen. We were the three four linemen. Our four linebackers. Boy, an embarrassment of riches at linebacker. Yeah, well, I got a little linebackers. Yeah. Ty Summers from TCU. Yep. Tremendous, tremendous player in for a big year, I think. Alvin Jones from UTEP. Not just Aaron's brother. He's super, super good. <laughs> pretty awesome. Emmanuel Ellerby from Rice. Uh, probably the next in next guy in line for uh, Rice. Always seems to have one, one guy yeah. who's a stud in the middle. Emmanuel Ellerby is that guy. And Josiah Taifa from UTSA, one of the best freshmen in the state last year, awesome. and could be in for a huge sophomore season. Those are our linebackers. Defensive backs, Armani Watts from Texas A&M. Again, fight me. Okay, come on. That dude's <laughs> awesome. I have a, it is well documented on the show, I have a big football crush on Armani Watts. Right. Nick Orr from TCU, a guy who's going to need to pick up more of the slack for this TCU defense, but I think is in for a very big year after a strong soft junior year. What about... Khalil Davis from Houston. Again, you talk about a guy who he's the last one left, really, right. and he's got to step up into a leadership role. We think he has all the tools to be a big-time playmaker yep. for Houston. And finally, Nate Brooks from North Texas. One of the more underrated players in the state. Nate Brooks from North so. Texas, a first-team all-Texas college player. Our utility guy? With Brecken Hager from t- Good. Texas. Not a sure guy who... Up, but yeah. yeah, we don't really know where he's going to line up in this new defense. Uh, but a breakout year last year, Brecken Hager in for big things in 2017, we think. He's a member of the All-Texas College team. And our punter, also from Texas, Michael Dixon. Uh, yet a couple really good choices here. The uh, the A&M punter, um, Trapuca, is uh, is really good as well. Uh, it, taking in the uh, um, taking on the, the role of the Texas A&M punter. Uh, God, who was their punter a couple of years ago who was awesome that I had a man crush mm-hmm. on? I had the Heisman yeah. candidacy. I can't remember his name, but he was uh, made up from my own heart. Anyway. He was a punter. That's why you don't remember his name. First team college football, uh, first team Texas, uh, all Texas college punter, Michael Dixon. That's our all Texas college team. You can see it in the 2017 summer edition of Dave Campbell's Texas Football.